Hi everyone, Ross Bob Squirrel here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the new reticle color adjustment setting that just came out in the Raiders Collection event on December 7th. With this, I'll also be going over which reticle color I think is the best to use within the game. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First, you'll need to locate the new setting. So go to your settings, stay on gameplay, and we're going to scroll down. And right at the bottom of that first section, it's going to say reticle. Again, it's just right in your settings here. Scroll down to the first section, and you can see default or customize. And this is where we can modify the color of our gun reticle during gameplay. So if we go ahead and click on customize, it opens up this screen. And on this screen, we can see an example of some of the in-game environments to get an idea of what these reticles are going to look like. So we have this one looking at like Olympus, we've got inorganic one, we're gonna have another one that is inorganic two, and then we're gonna have two more that are organic one and organic two. So showing uh, natural elements and showing man-made elements as well. From here, you can go ahead and see how the reticle color looks um, on a given image. And we can kind of see that one on the left doesn't really look that great with the yellow. We can go down and see these different recommended colors. We have yellow, blue, this magenta, and then this teal looking color as well. From here, we can also go ahead and see in the bottom right corner that we can manually adjust the RGB number to manipulate and change the color of the reticle this way. So with that, if we go ahead and type in 231, it's going to slightly change the color here. Uh, Apex will let us know that it, it is an unsafe color chosen, and they'll automatically choose a closest safe one, and we can go ahead and apply that. So there are multiple ways that we can change this. So at the bottom, we can change the slider as well to go ahead and see the uh, brightness. We can update that, or we can just drag down at the top to see the different colors as well as we can see the rainbow colors shown right there. So now, personally, I think that this bright magenta color is going to be the best choice for the reticle color in season 11. Now the reason with that, I really think that this magenta, there's not many things in the game that are magenta. I think there are a lot of blues, especially on Storm Point. There's a lot of like aqua looking colors. There's a lot of greens. There's a lot of grays from the rocks, a lot of more natural looking colors. Now I really think again that this bright magenta really stands out and would allow you to make it so that you can see and attach onto your enemies a lot easier. So again, I would definitely recommend this magenta for season 11. Now in the future, this might change, you know, on King's Canyon or something, I might not use magenta. I might really use something more blue because King's Canyon kind of has more of an orange type feel to me. So something that feels a little bit um, complimentary so that I can see enemies a lot easier. Once you have your reticle color selected, you can go ahead and exit out of the setting and then go into the firing range and you can really test this out to see what the different weapons will look like with the different reticle color on. It actually might surprise you how much it does change on different guns. For example, on the Volt, it does the whole ring around it. And then on the Rampage, it does um, the, the two triangles on the left and the right hand side as well. It changes a lot of it. So definitely take some time to mess around with the color reticle setting. Again, my recommendation is going to be this bright magenta, almost pink color. Just given the environment that is on Stormpoint and even World's Edge, I think that this makes the most sense and is the best choice of a color to use on your reticle in Season 11. If you found this video helpful and you wouldn't mind leaving a like down below, it does really help me with the algorithm as I do put in a lot of time and effort into creating videos like this one. As well, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I do post Apex content nearly every day and I stream all the time. On that note, I'll catch you guys in the next one.